Well, welcome back for another episode on my XR Monk. I was just informed. Let's see who informed me, actually. Um, let's go to the comments of my video. So it was a, a guy named Black Phillip. So Black Phillip let me know that the Woo's fighting gauntlets that I saw in the vendor that I passed up on, those work as a light source. So I was been looking for light source for a long time because I thought that would help out my videos to be more brighter. So those are gonna solve my issue. Another good thing about the Woos Fighting Gauntlets is that they are. Ugh, I get stuck. They are magical, so uh, I can fight stuff like Will O' Wisp if I wanted to. The other good thing is that they're just super light. So um, I currently have Berry Nye High Gloves, which I thought were a little better. It gives you more AC, it gives you stamina and charisma. But I would like to have that light source. So I have to save up my platinum for Wu's Fighting Gauntlets, and they cost 92 platinum. So I was just looking in the bank. I think I have around 63 platinum at the moment. So it's going to use up every bit of money that I have, and I need more of it. So I have two goals in mind for this episode. I'm going to save up for those Wu's Fighting Gauntlets. We'll go check them out on the way out of town. And I am 49% of the way through level 16, so gain one more level, and then I'll have Feign Death, which is going to be a super awesome. So let's go out there and start fighting. I'm going to be working on getting things that sell for a lot, so I'm not going to be... I'm going to be looting a lot more than I was before. So, yeah, um, kind of excited about getting the upgrade now. The vendor is in this building here. I checked him earlier and he still got the item for sale. No one's bought it yet. So I think it'll take me about two hours to get enough money to buy it. I wasn't even planning on playing this afternoon. But I'm afraid if I wait too long, someone just might pick it up off the vendor. So I have to get to work. I have to start saving platinum. It might not even take me that long. I have a full stack of bone chips. So if someone came by looking to buy bone chips, that would be pretty nice. I'm gonna get this skelly. Okay, what is he doing? So there's plenty of people out in the newbie yard and fill the bone. It's a very active newbie zone. I have to say this is probably one of the most active zones, newbie zones that I've seen. There's 22 players and everyone seems to be lower level. Just a few higher level people, but majority of everyone in here is working up their skills in the newbie level ranges, so it's probably the best community I've seen in a newbie zone is Phil the Bone. So I'm headed for this bone binder. I'm not sure if he's gonna go for it either. I don't want the marauder, I want the bone binder. Come on, guy. There we go. Bone Binder is green. I'm going to get this one too. We're going to take them both out. I've been fighting at the ramps on the far side lately. And I'm aiming for the silk. I don't really care about the bone crawler experience. There is no experience for it. Okay, what do we get? Weak poison. Okay, I should probably turn my volume down. It's like super loud. Level 9 month. Looking for 
group. His name is Rama Blue. So if you're looking to play a new class, new race, and group with newbies, this is the zone for that. You should be able to find groups at the ramps. If you want to go into Kern's Tower, you should be able to find groups in Kern's Tower. So if you're a play, up, if you're a guy who doesn't like to play solo, Fill the Bones a good newbie area for you. See, this person just said, "Want to start a ramp group?" It's that easy. I've been invited to several groups just walking into Kern's Tower. Most of the time I walk in there, someone says, want to join a group, and I decline. Wow, nice silk. So I don't see any more bone binders out here. So I'm going to go over to my usual spot now. Uh, today was a long day at work. a long day we get this greater guy yeah these aren't like amazing for XP but it's not bad greater skeletons they can be tough too I always drag them back to the area over here So halfway through the level already. I had a great time playing. Oh, that guy's got a shield. See if I can hurry up and get him. So the shield's gonna sell for a full platinum. Doing good. Be surprised if I can still get that skeleton before someone else does. I would, I wanted to go out for a walk this afternoon, but I think I'm gonna stay on and grind until I get enough platinum to buy that item. Come on, die. There you go. Gave me 2% two ex two XP. I see the guy with the shield still way out there. If I can get to it, I'd be surprised. It gives more than a platinum. It gives like 1.4 because it gives you some gold too. And it keeps going further away. Come on, almost there. Almost there. They do weigh a lot, though. It weighs seven point seven and a half stone. Took down my AC. <laughs> yeah, hiccups. I went to Chipotle today after work. They were out of like vegetables, they're out of lettuce. I was like, what the hell? How can you be out of vegetables? So I ordered a a burrito bowl and man it said like your order will be ready at 530 I got there at like 
almost 540. Then I waited for like another 10 minutes. Like they're 20 minutes behind. Then I walked in there and they're like, we're still waiting on chicken. Like they're making the chicken. And then um, people just kept coming to the store. Oh, that looks cool. The entrance to the Kearns Tower. That's cool. More people just kept coming in. And they had a lot of people working in the back, but it's like they didn't have chicken ready for some reason. So I was just, if I would have um, not already prepaid, I would have just canceled it and gone somewhere else just to save 20 minutes of my day. All right, more silk. So I always go after bone. Emerald fencers. Whoa, I've never killed a charbone yet. Maybe when I gain one more level I can. So I know I'm pushing it. I'm kind of in a rush to get this level. So these run so slow that you can that you don't have to strafe run away. You don't have to. There we go. Start out with a strike, crush, punch combo. I like the idea of being a martial artist in EverQuest. Doesn't really match with like the setting. You think of shields, swords, big two-hander weapons and magicians and wizards. And then you have this monk class, which I don't know, it's cool, but it just doesn't seem like it fits very well. You know, like bards, rogues, necros, they all seem to fit, you know, the fantasy setting. But monks, not so much, but it's a really cool class. All right, let's pop a mend. Yes, it seems to work a lot more now. And you just race to 85. Must be maxed out. Okay. We're gonna hang out next to Prime Easer. Well, okay, I've been <clears throat> I've been grinding for a long time. And I finally have enough money. So right now, it's the big finale. We have to go to the vendor first. The grand finale. Where I buy some Woo's Fighting Gauntlets for 92 and a half platinum. Kingly gift. Here it goes. It's gonna take up all my money. You know how much, you know how much spider silk that took. Jeez. All right. So immediately you notice the light source. That was awesome. Watch. Just having it in your bag is like a greater light stone. Let's do it in here. You can see that. And then we get to put it on. Boom. Amazing, but it's past my bedtime. Um, we're half, what am I saying halfway? 75% of this level is complete. I died once. If I didn't die, I'd be like really close. But then I was um, fighting a bunch of stuff that wasn't giving me any XP, especially those um, bone crawlers. They are giving a massive amount of silk and that was the quickest way to earn the money. I didn't want to go to bed with the stuff on the vendor because someone could have just walked by and snatched them up or Sometimes the, the vendors refresh their inventories. So I had to stay up grinding all night. So I'm going to bed now. So I'll finish this episode tomorrow after work. It probably won't be uploaded tomorrow. If it does, just going to get uploaded like in the evening time. 
I've got a couple bone chip stacks, and I was hoping someone was going to buy bone chips, but I didn't get very lucky tonight. But I feel great. Got some. Let me do something. Let me check. So they don't even show up graphically on your character, but they just illuminate the area around you, which is totally cool. Okay. So I'm going to camp out here, and I'll see you guys later, and the episode will continue. And I'll get to level 17 and train up Fane Death after work tomorrow. <coughs> Just thought I would show you it's 3 a.m. With the Woos fighting gauntlets, let's check the light source. Boom. <coughs> Look how much improvement I get in light. Such an awesome item, it's going to help out with making videos. And by the way, I'm going to work on finishing this level now. I've got 25% of my XP to go, I just got off work. And so this is continuing on my earlier recording. I'll fight this guy real quick and then I'll just continue to grind until I'm right about to level to 17. Then I'll run back to town and train up Fain Death, which is going to be huge. It's going to save me from dying. Let's see how we do. Level 17, I'll go into Kern's Tower and start to go deeper and further up the levels do more exploring around the area and then I think you know I have to work start working on the the next shackles quest so I think I'll be high enough level to start working on getting my next set of shackles that'll be fun Wouldn't mind turning off my name tag. I wonder if there's an option for that. Yeah, I take this Marauder out, no problem. AC is 369. So the great thing about these gloves is they're light. Threw my bone stacks in the bank, but let me go ahead and just see if I can fix this, um, get rid of my name tag above my head. So anyways, I don't have the option of my own. I can just turn off all player character names. So, I mean, it looks a little cleaner. I'll have to see this big flashing name above me. I left it on for NPCs, non-playable characters. But I think this looks better. So I'm going to leave it like this for a while. Ooh, get this one out of the way of the other. Damn, he caught up to me. Got me spinning. It looks like Min failed to work. Yeah, it failed. I'm only at 80% life. Turn the volume down even more. Man, it was a long day at work today, I gotta tell you. Felt like I did more work than the other guy I was with. So we did see a TEE -E procedure, transesophageal echo. But um, afterwards, it was a different cardiologist I was with. But the other guy I was watching so the cardiologist let us, or he let the other med student do the cardio version. Um, so we just cranked up the joules on the on the machine, the cardioverter. It shocks the hell out of you. And so then he we we powered it up, and then he says, "Okay, just push this button and hold it." And so the other med student was pushing the button down, and and he. <laughs> 
and the patient like hopped off the bed and didn't hop off the bed but literally just like poof, like like just like a uh, jolted him it was kind of a more dramatic than I was expecting <laughs> anyways I was just uh, need to see that done so I'm gonna sit over here and rest for a bit and uh, catch up with you guys when I'm ready to do some fighting or actually let me just catch up with you when I'm almost level 17 well I've been grinding away this level and it's getting super close 98% XP I wanted to start recording because this may be the level I mean this may be the kill that gets me the level if not one more kill will be So if I level, I'm going to probably fight a few more just to get my skills up and then run back to town so I can train. I just hate making that run back and forth because I have no Spirit of Wolf. Fight next to this Sham and he's not casted a single buff on me. Which I understand because the limiting factor is your mana when you're a Shaman. Damn, I just leveled. Okay, this is a rogue shaman. I'm gonna fight it right away. I've only seen I've only seen one of these. I mean one other one. So this is the second one I've ever seen. So let's pull him over here. Shoot. I forgot all about darkness. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's get there and face the right direction. So Level 17. So someone is porting. Ah, oh, he put Drowsy on me. I'm not worried, he's an easy kill. Oh gosh, blinded me twice. Come on, twice in one fight. He's running away too, so I have no idea where he's at. Where'd he go? Probably ran off the cliff. You know where he's at now. That's him. I got far he got. So let's hit mend wound. I have failed to mend my wounds. So I just want to kill him because I've I thought he would have something unique on him. A mandible. Alright, I'm gonna hang on to that because I don't know what you do with it. Mandible. That's cool. So I'm gonna fight this one over here too. Greater Skeleton and that should be the last fight I do before I run back to town. But this is gonna give me a lot of skill gain probably. Let's get over here. Oh yeah, let's, I, I would like to see I was 369 AC. My AC dropped because I'm carrying a bunch of crappy weight. Let's see. 362. So I'm 369 at the start of this level. All right, here we go. I found some pig parts. Here we go, level gains. Wow, 396 hit points, almost 400. It's my favorite part when all these skills start going up. Dual wield 120. Oh yeah, how much damage are we doing with Tiger Claw? I think 14 is the max I've been doing. I wonder if it goes any higher than 14. Hmm. 
I don't know. Well, anyways, I'm gonna see you guys over at the guild hall where I start to train. Okay, let's get that great skill. The most best skill imaginable, feign death. All right, now that's where we put it. I can put it in place, a sense heading, and then reassign. Nope. You need to put it right there. There we go, perfect. Should I put more points into it just to get it going? I mean, I got all these points. Make it 25. There we go. Did it work? I don't know. So, um... Just checking vendors, what I usually do all the time. I keep an eye out for items I need to upgrade to, but in the meantime, uh, I don't think I need to upgrade anything. I need to start working up my sneak skill though. So one more level and we get a skill called Intimidation, which is, I mean, it's a skill I use if I'm in trouble. The way I used to do it is if I have to make a run for it, um, what I could do is just, Fear one, take it off running, um, then feign death when it's gotten a little bit further away, and then I'll stand up and fight the one. Say I have fighting two at once and I can't take two on, I'll fight one and then try to intimidate the other one. If it takes off running, I'll feign death and it just sort of like splits them, and then I'll try to fight the one single. Doesn't always work, it's kind of complicated, but I've done that before. So, um, yeah, one more level out in Field of Bone. Actually, I'll head into Kern's Tower. Uh, I'll level just a little bit out in Field of Bone first, make sure my skills are maxed out. Practice feign death a few times, see how reliable it is at this level. Can't remember, honestly. I don't think it works a lot of times. Maybe it does, I just can't remember. It's been so long. But I'm going to practice it, and then I'll go into Kern's Tower where it's a little bit riskier. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Really enjoying my monk, by the way. All it took is getting out of that level rut that I was in, stuck in for a month or so. I mean, I've ran into troubles, and I just stopped playing altogether. Come back, I'm having a lot of fun again. So, um, Fill the Bone is kind of growing on me. I've made a lot of complaints about it, but uh, you got to get over like a level hump before it starts becoming. It's really great at low levels, like levels one through four, maybe one through five, and then you kind of slows down and it gets dangerous because you have to leave this little newbie area. And then um, once you start first hitting this bone pit, I think it's kind of rough. And then when you're good enough to solo out around the bone pit perimeter, I think it gets a lot better. That's just my take on it. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh man, you never guess what happened. So I'm fighting this marauder. Um, and... I actually fell asleep in the middle of the fight. I fell asleep while I was fighting. <laughs> I've never done that before. So I guess I'm pretty tired. Not that I was bored or anything. I was having a good time. Um, I literally fell asleep for like, I don't know, it had to be, shoot, it had to be 10, 15 seconds. And then when I woke up, um, I was super low. I hadn't been using my tiger claw or anything. So I think if I was awake, I wouldn't have died. Jesus. But anyways, I de-leveled. I'm 97%, so I have to get the level again. And I can't use Fan Death anymore. That's fine. So I'm curious. Do I get to keep all the skill gains I got otherwise? 292 AC. It's just weird. So I'm just going to run over there and get my corpse again. It's no big deal. I just wasted using my end up. Anyways, 
I'm going to get my corpse, just let you know. Silly thing happened, so I think I should end the episode. Maybe that's a sign that I'm too tired to play right now. So I'll go into Kearns after a little nap. Tomorrow's an easy day for me. I only have to go in and watch one procedure so I can sleep in. It doesn't start until like 1230. So I'm going to sleep in all day, which means I'm going to take a nap and play all night. And um, I'll upload this video this afternoon. So by the time you guys watch it, it's probably this just happened, all this stuff. So <laughs> can't believe I freaking died, man. Are you serious? Fall asleep while I'm fighting a bandit, um, a Nix or Marauder. So, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is like a video that took me two days to make and a lot of grinding. So see you guys soon. That's a shame. Bye.